All right, we have Don Machi, Season 4, Episodes 12 and 13. Remember to check out that Patreon link down below if you guys want the full unedited version uncut, as well as early access to all the other shows I'm watching. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right on into it. Don Machi, Season 4, Episodes 12 and 13. Okay, this should be exactly where we left off. The entrance to the deep floors, the White Palace. Words don't really do it justice, but it sinks in once you... Oh, if Eyes is saying that. Oh, that's nerve-wracking. As we're already critically injured, just barely survived getting our hand recovered and restored. Like, this season is insane. Oh, and I completely forgot about the floor boss also respawning. This is just like, what are we doing, Don Machi? What are we doing? The two-headed Hydra Ice Dragon. Like, what are we doing? We all better be upgraded to level fucking seven after this. We all better be on Otaro's level. Blue Napalm. No, he's not. Bell's not on the 27th. You guys don't have to worry about him. He's on the 37th. Aruhime. Oh, great shielding. It literally melted the shield. Oh my god. <laughs> that blue napalm. Like, it's literally a case of. It's literally a case of when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Like, no. He's like, and yet we're getting fucked. The dungeon has chosen to ignore the interval. Bells and Uranus were like, what in? I know, they're like, man, that's what I'm saying. I 100% agree. Thank you, Fells. Even if it's all for naught, at least they're willing to do it, even if it's <laughs> technically for nothing, but... Yeah, this is one of those situations where if you make this wrong decision, you're about to die. A hundred percent. I can't blame him at all for having an anxiety panic attack right here. I'm damn near having one and I'm watching on a TV screen. It blocked the exit, are you kidding me? The dungeon is like, what are you fuckers doing in me? Pause, but... I'm hoping we don't lose anyone, but that's uh, completely on the table, you know? Someone needs to be able to inspire them. Normally that would be Bell. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I'm butter he's not here. Come on, that's what I like to hear. Come on. You've always been one of my favorites. I mean, he is a hero. Can't blame him. Not our tough guy. We can't fight without our hero. Are you going to beg to differ, Wells? <laughs> That's what I like hearing. Yeah, imagine you guys take out this on your own. You guys have my utmost respect. I love this change of mentality. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> An equal. We don't rely on him. He doesn't rely on us. Partners. No second fiddle. Everyone's getting inspired. Hell yeah. Shout out Aisha and Well for leading this. Go kick some ass. That's one thing about this show is the party is so fucking cool. Like, there's not a member of this party I don't fucking love, you know? We're going straight in with the ice floor? Give us some stable foundation? Expand the arena a little bit? Oh, this shot, these shots are incredible. You can break that just as fast as you make it, though. With the 3D camera work? Oh my god, this looks incredible. Okay, I'm watching very closely. Champion of Valor.
Bro, the way they're animating this is fucking... It can dissolve magic? Crimson Mist. So it's one of those offensive and defensive bosses. I hate those in fucking games, you know? One of them neutralizes magic, one of them's pure napalm fireness. We have to use physical stat attacks. Ooh, heart speaking of physical attacks, let's get that level boost. This is literally on some video game shit, bro. I can think of so many games where I need to use buffs just to prevent the one shot. Were they using protective? Oh my god, bro. I love this so much. Shout out Chigusa right in the eye. Oh, nice try though. Like, this is going to be our most difficult fight by far, but I'm loving the team we're going on. Everyone's using whatever buff magic they have on themselves. I love this shit. This literally feels like I'm playing a video game. Bro, this is peak Danmachi. We have Bell. Everything going on with Ryu, but this is so good right now. If only you knew what was going on right now, Hestia. Rather safe than sorry. Of course. The serious face, immediately, I love it. Oh my... Like, I wish Hestia could see this, just so she could send more reinforcements. And it can go underwater and just completely disappear. With how big it is, that shouldn't even be possible, bro. It's so not fair. Even water's not putting out the napalm. Correct me if I'm wrong about napalm, like in real life napalm. Like, it has a chemical in it that is, like, really strong or something. Like, water wouldn't even put it out either way. I feel you. I, I feel you, Lou. Yeah, you need to be our strategist, yeah. I like that. Good words. Good words. Ooh. Little energy detection. Ooh. Good call. Bro. The gravity magic. Push that motherfucker down. Bro, shout out Makoto. Holy shit. We're going to use the prison cage against it. That definitely is not enough to stop it, but it's a good little stalling tactic. Ooh. Ooh, now we freeze it solid. Get a little closer. I love this camera work right now. It is stationary. It is stuck. Close that mouth shut. I love how strategic they're being. They have their supports, they have their strategist, and they have their vanguard. Stop being a Debbie Downer. Come on. Everyone else is. They fight through it. There is no other choice. What this party does to you. Everyone they meet, they all say the same thing. Look at all of them putting in work. Putting their lives on the line. Come on. I'm getting goosebumps just looking at this. Let's go, Cassandra. I love how just like Makoto, Uka, Chigusa, Wealth, Lily Ruka. Like these are all party members we've gained from other adventures, you know? And they, oh, I love this shit so much. Soul Light. Now that sounds like a healing spell to me. Shout out the whole squad. That was the end of the episode. All I know is thank the Lord I'm watching one more. All right, here we go. This should be episode 13. That's a bad sign.
I'm getting Tamari from Naruto vibes. Uh oh. I'm about to say that's Tsubaki, right? From Hephaestus family? Yeah, we're getting backup. We're getting everyone we can. Taka Mikazuchi is getting every Hestia is getting. Talk about bad omens. Oh my lord. Yeah. He's gonna say we have to run. Then a split second later, the juggernaut's gonna be right behind him, and I'm just like Whatever, bud. Whatever. Like, what do you do? It's, it's really, like, genuinely, it's not fair. Like, I, I feel bad. Okay, that was the best thing he could have done. Make a, make a somewhat rocky shield wall between them. But it's that firebolt's gonna do nothing to him, but. Oh, it's completely caved in. Good. All I know is if we make it out of here alive, Bell and Ryu better be the best of friends, if not lovers, at this point. You got a splint on that leg. I got a splint on my thumb. I'm right there with you, girly. Yeah, you're supposed to heal yourself, girly. We have no more items, no more magic, so no more heals. I bet you they wish this was like Baldur's Gate where you can just save scum, you know? Like, imagine. Oh, you see. Oh, hell nah. Oh, with the. Hell nah. Just your average monster on this floor is going to be unbearable for us. We're 37 floors deep. And we all, I was about to say, you guys barely survived the first part of this season. You know what I'm saying? Both you guys need to stay here. Sadly, I wish you guys could help. Tsubaki with... Oh, and we've never seen her fight. She's the only one of the Hephaestus family, right? I can't, ooh, I can't lie, I'm kind of geeked. It's gotta be nice. I don't even know what level she's at. I have a lot of levels down on my list, but she is not one of them. It's crazy seeing the bar workers with Tsubaki here, you know? How fast is this thing? Bro, this isn't fair. Get my peoples out of this. Every monster on this floor is not fair. It has a range attack as well. It's using the scarf. If, if he didn't have that scarf on, Bell's arm would be soup right now. It's a skeleton. What is there to stab? Oh, his uh, heart. Finally found the... the Yeah. Thank the Lord. I'm blanking on the technical term for the... You know what I'm trying to say. The thing that Mofuck was eating the entire time, part one. Gaining more strength. This is a very bad situation. I really, I really would love to say I wouldn't leave her. Actually, I, I can't, I wouldn't leave her. Just because I wouldn't think I would survive on my own, you know? Like, there's no way. We've gone through so much, you know? That's what I would say. I'd be dead alone either way, so. You were the one who told me he was to my right. 100%. Good facts. Okay, way to put it into perspective. He's like, Ryu, did you not just listen to the last 30 seconds that just happened? I literally would be dead right here next to you if you didn't help me out right there. There's something about a man and a woman that go through trauma together that bonds them more than a anything else. And I, like I said, I want them to be the best of friends after all this is said and done, literally. 
Got on Mikoto. Oh, that was a slash right there. Right in its exposed like muscles as well. Hell yeah, we're doing some damage to it. But so are we. Damn, bro, this is this is a fight right here. Is it leaving? It's a leaving. It's trying to. Unless it's going for a dive, swan diving attack. Yeah, it's literally diving on him. That was that was a burnt hole move right there. I kind of like that. That was a that was a smart move by the Amphispina. Using its environment to its advantage like that. Makoto's about to drown. Someone save her, please. Oh no! Oh no! We're not. Marie has to say something. There's no way. Imagine how freeing it must be to be level seven like Finn or Otaro, you know? Or like what, Riveria as well? She's close, but like, you just be able to walk around here, just nothing. You see an undead sheep or whatever, shink, 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 you know? Like, imagine. It must be so nice. Imagine it's a safe room. A magic stone lamp. There's people, a person, an adventurer. Hopefully a nice person. Oh no, if they're saying this out loud, it's gonna be the opposite. I can't take any more oppositeness. It's a dead yeah, just a just a fucking skeleton. Skeletal remains of someone who killed himself. Is that what I'm seeing? There's no way. Same thing we same plan we had. Sit in the room, catch our breath. We're gonna die here. <laughs> As there's more undead sheep behind us. Caved us in again. But now we're caved in in a cave in. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Slap is what he needed right now. Five minutes. Hey, do it. I get as much rest as you can. It takes me fucking 20 minutes to fall asleep, you know? Sure, in this situation, it'd be a little different, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. So he's going for a Tell me why something in the next five minutes that we're sleeping, we're going to wake up and fucking 74 months. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't trust this show at all now. I used to think this show was happy, man. Like, positive. Now she instantly gets nervous. They almost drown to death. Please update me on Makoto. No time to even take a second to look for Makoto or help her heal. Oh my god, bro. Both sides. Oh, there's no way. Bro, if Haruhime actually dies. Bro. That's Aisha's girl. I got goosebumps right now. Oh, yeah. Uga and Aisha. Bro, these episodes are so amazing, but so depressing. And this ends right. Ah, uh. ah, uh. ah. Uh. I need a breather. These episodes are actually incredible. Like the fights, not necessarily with going on with Bell and Ryu right now, which the ones the last few episodes were incredible, but everything going on with our squad against the Amphispina 
was I love the teamwork. I love the character development. I love everything, everyone working in unison, whether it's the vanguard, the support, the strategist, everyone has a role and it fills and it fits this team so perfectly. But the show is just so depressing and so OP. It's not even funny. Everything going on with the undead sheep, everything going on with Amphispina, everything going on with the fucking gar juggernaut. Like, it's like, really, this is not fair. It really is not fair. I am praying. I am praying that the rest of the workers at the bar where you works at and Subaki can come in and cause just utter havoc. Just absolutely help us out. Just demolish Amphispina. Come down to the White Palace. Get us all out of there. I don't know how this is going to work. Really don't. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. All that jazz. Check out that Patreon. Early access. Full length version. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.